Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing good. Now, Monday's video, you would have seen me make these DIY silicon inlays. These can be used with epoxy resin, jesmonite, concrete, whichever kind of acrylic medium you are using. If you didn't see that video, I will put it here in the corner. In this video, we are going epoxy resin and I am obsessed with the results. resin I am using in this video is Vista Turbo. Now Turbo is their fast curing resin. This resin cures in five hours. I can demold these coasters quite happily within that time period. So it just makes life so much easier for me because I have this gorgeous mold from Molds and Shapes. Details will be linked below. A really perfect round coaster mold. It is a set of four. Well, in today's video, I'm making six coasters. So the fact that I've got a fast curing resin, it just is so helpful. It's going to let me do that. I am actually creating three different techniques in which to use my DIY silicon inlays. The first technique I thought I would try is the cling film stroke polyurethane drop cloth technique. Now, if you have not heard of this, not seen this, I will link some videos above for you guys. But this is basically where you create a stunning pattern on the back of your pieces using, I would suggest, polyurethane. Because honestly, cling film is not good. <laughs> it's really not good. I can't stand it. Now, straight away, I realized a problem here. The silicon inlays just were not heavy enough to indent the cling film. And the inside of the ammonite is a lot shallower than the outer edge of the ammonite. So I kind of knew at this point that I'd, I probably will only get the indentation of the outer edge, not the middle. So what you saw me do there was just place a pot of stones down on top of the ammonite in the hope that it would actually press the center down and give me some kind of embossed pattern. The next one I'm doing, this is another technique you can use your silicon inlays for, is to place them directly into your mold. Making sure that your mold is actually higher than the actual inlay, otherwise you will end up with holes in your piece. And you can see me here just dusting them both with chameleon powders by Let's Resin. That detail, that detail, those details will also be in the description box below. This is probably the most simple way to use them. It is a one pour technique. No fuss, nothing fancy schmancy. Just put them in your silicon molds. They already stick because they're silicon and then just dust them with your powders. So I am just backfilling these coasters then with Vista Turbo. So it's a really straightforward, easy method. Put your silicon inlays in brush them with chameleon powder, fill them up with black resin. The colorant I am using again is the Vista Black Pigment. It's such a gorgeous liquid pigment, mixes in real thorough. The only downside here is that I didn't make enough resin, so I did have to go back and make up another little batch just to cover these areas of the ammonite that were poking up. Luckily, they were shallower than the walls of the mold, so I didn't have any problems there. Now, <laughs> this is five hours later. I am taking off the polyurethane sheet. It comes away like a dream, nothing like cling film. It does come away like a dream. So the actual technique for the polyurethane has worked a dream. But as I suspected, the indentation of the inlay really wasn't prominent enough to create an embossed ammonite when we flip it up and reverse it and, you know, do all the dusting with the powder. But honestly, like... There are other ways you could have done that. You could have put the original hard resin piece down into the cling film. The only thing you would have to worry about is getting it back up again. There is a risk that some resin might seep over the edges. I don't know. I don't know. That would be, I guess, an experiment that we could all try maybe. I don't know. But yeah, here I am just dusting them with chameleon powders and then I'm cracking on with the demold. Because this is a five hour fast cure, this means I can demold the, these ones before I even pour the black resin on the cling film technique. And look at these. Oh my goodness me. I absolutely, I am just obsessed with the patterns in these ammonites. And honestly, I could see this in a box frame, some kind of wall art. Imagine this in a large scale. Like imagine this in like a cough like a giant coffee table 
next to your sofa I don't know I'm sorry <laughs> resumes <laughs> I need him to make a giant mold for me so that I can do this on a huge scale I actually really love the simplicity of this one as well like just using that teeny tiny little one on its own in the corner just simplistic and beautiful I really really love these they look super elegant to me and of course that teal chameleon powder my absolute favorite so now that I've demolded them <laughs> I wanted to get them out of the way before I made a massive mess I am now back filling the cling film technique ones with my black resin same as before Vista turbo using the Vista black pigment and the mess here was real it was substantial because of that actual polyurethane. The polyurethane does sometimes draw resin up the sides when you kind of dip it in and make your patterns. It draws resin up the sides, making your edges really, really messy. So that was that. <laughs> I have demolded those. We will see those in a minute. <laughs> anyway, moving on to the third technique. The third technique, very similar to the cling film, but without cling film. And that is just simply to put clear resin into your coasters or into your molds and then place the actual silicon inlays down into the resin. So the first technique we got, we put them in the mold. This technique, we're putting them in the resin. And I do wanna make sure that I don't get any air bubbles or at least I'm doing my best to reduce any air bubbles on the inside of that ammonite because I'm now gonna flip it up and place it down, face down into the resin so i guess it's it is similar to the cling film technique and that you're laying it down on the resin to emboss the surface of the resin before you then dust it with your chameleon powders but honestly i was worried at this point because of course the inside of that ammonite is shallower than the outside rim the outside edge is really much deeper so i was forever worried that the center of the ammonite was going to suck air back up into it and I would just be left with I would just be left with mess but I'm here to tell you it was a huge success this was five hours later and stop it they are so so sleek 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 <laughs> what's the word they are beautiful not an air pocket inside it worked a dream absolute dream and it was only at this point as i'm dusting the chameleon powders on that i'm thinking i could have still used the cling film technique on these i could have just put my ammonite in maybe left it in there 20 minutes and then gone in with the polyurethane sheet around the outside so just laid the sheet down on top of the silicon ammonite and then just poked around the edges do you know what I mean? I would have got that original technique that I was looking for in those first ones that you will see in a minute <laughs> how they worked out. I think, I think we could all already tell how they worked out. But here I am, same thing again. What I am doing is just making sure that I pour the resin super slowly in the center just to make sure that it works its way around every single little nook and cranny of the ammonites. And here we are on demold. Oh my gosh. Listen, as far as <laughs> as far as cling film technique goes, this one's great. This one's great. It's the I think this is the great. It's the green and purple. Looks really great, but we've got absolutely no sign of an ammonite embossing here. This one here, I think I've unlocked a phobia. I actually think I've unlocked a phobia, guys. You need to tell me what I'm scared of because the other one with the cling film technique the large ammonite this one has unlocked some kind of alien sigourney sigourney weaver fear in me like i can't even look at it. it creeps me out basically it creeps me out it looks like something's trying to escape from something <laughs> but these two are the the ones where i actually placed the ammonites down into the resin and oh my goodness me absolutely stunning results really stunning results I love the fact that the outside edges are simple and flat and it look they look like quilts they look like really padded quilts and I am in love so I'm really glad now looking back that I did not then go and add the cling film technique to the outer edge so just to recap the three methods the first one was to put your silicon inlays directly into your molds after that you can do whatever you wish 
but I did want to dust them with chameleon powders so that they would look like this afterwards and I love them so much I am obsessed with the teal the second method oh creeping me out right now does anyone else see like an alien trying to escape from a plastic bag <laughs> what is wrong with me anyway yeah not my cup of tea did not work the third method of course directly into the resin which pretty much is the same as the cling film technique but without the cling film really obsessed with these ones as well they look like super indulgent rich padded something not sofas but something <laughs> they look like padded quilts i am so so happy with them so to recap as well i got the red ammonite mold from red hot molds resin ace on youtube he makes molds over on etsy red hot molds i will link him below i filled it with resin i then shoved that piece of ammonite resin into a piece of polymer clay i baked it i then filled that with silicon to create my silicon inlay if you would like to see the video and actually i do go into a lot more details because it wasn't as straightforward as i just made it sound i came across lots of obstacles and it really did not go well for me but i got there in the end and if you want to know exactly the technique i used then do check out that video but oh my gosh i am in love not with these ones <laughs> not with these ones at all nope go away i don't want to look <laughs> but the other ones i love them the teal ones in the middle are probably my favorites just because they're so so different i love that cut out look i just love the way it's just carved out i don't know i think it looks more realistic like something you've just dug up and then you've got this imprint of an ammonite really really love it let me know your thoughts at this point which one is your favorite right now i'm only showing you the four that i like because because the other one is just yeah i don't even like looking at it how weird is that guys i actually also got a message from an incredible artist over on instagram saying oh what you've just done with your silicon inlays i did this a while ago and i've done it kind of thing and she showed me her work and it's absolutely beautiful and i wasn't following her she wasn't following me but we found each other now so her work was incredible so again this <laughs> as much as i'd love to think this was my original idea to make a silicon inlay it clearly isn't um it's already been done so massive shout out and thank you to anyone who's gone before me and done this technique but for anyone watching don't be afraid to give it a go because honestly silicon mold making can be intimidating and i know i was so intimidated by it but it's just a case of just not thinking about it, just going for it, trying it, and then you get results like this, and it makes it all worth it. So thank you so, so much. I hope you found this helpful. I hope this will inspire you to go on and find things around your house to shove into your clay and create your own silicon inlays. And yeah, just create some gorgeousness. Cannot wait to see what you make. If you do, do not forget to tag me, hashtag Claire made me do it. I'm loving that hashtag right now. So many people are using it. But yeah, I will let you go. We've been here long enough. I hope you've loved it. I appreciate you all. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.